Get ready for the smackdown. Get ready for the smackdown. How you gonna react when you're put in the back Cause there's no turning back when you're facing the smackdown. All right, guys. Final fight for bracket three for section ten. Uh, once again, guys, I hope you guys have been really enjoying this all-female edition. I really put a lot into this, and I'm hope I appreciate everybody. I appreciate everybody who sent me requests. This one comes from me. I put Cheshire versus. Black Widow. Yeah, Cheshire versus Black Widow. Um, I thought this was a very, very interesting fight. I, I put this fight together because A, I do know who Jade is. You know, a lot of people really got on Jade because of Young Justice, but I knew exactly who this girl was from the get go. And I knew she was a dangerous woman. And of course, Black Widow has always been a favorite of mine. So let's kick it off with uh, Jade Nugent, a.k.a. Cheshire. Um, for all those who don't know uh, who she is, let me let me show you who this woman is. Okay, let me tell you who this woman is. First off, where did she first appear? New Teen Titans Annual Number 2. She was created by Marv Wolfman and George Perez, the great George Perez. Um... Her name, full name is Jade Nugent, and pretty much her origin is really bad. It's not as bad. It's not really a happen. Now, her mother was pretty much raped by either a French or United States Senator uh, uh, Robert Pullman. I thought that was her name. It's not really clear, actually, but that traumatized her. She tra that traumatized her childhood, and as well as she was sold into slavery. Uh, this made her pretty much psychotic when she got out and that's where she kind of began her Becoming one of the ruthless most ruthless mercenaries She killed her master in the martial arts uh, She was adopted by uh, uh, Wang Cheng that's who also taught her Taught her all that he knew about guerrilla fighting. She was taught all the poisons by an African uh, assassin known as um, dang what was his name oh uh, Musenda aka Spitting Cobra and she even uh, married him for a while uh, and that's where everything started to get really worse and, uh, for her she met Roy Harper they had a kid we and then it goes from there you you know the idea you know and you research her more and you know what I'm talking about um Jade is a master of martial arts that no longer are thought to don't exist. She is also a triple uh, jointed in uh, acrobats. She's very athletic, moves very quickly and unexpectedly quick. She is a specialist in poisons and her most feared weapon is are her poison artificial fingernails and other weapons that are dipped in poisons. Uh, she, so she uses the poisons a lot in her arsenal. Uh, she is considered the judge to be the second deadliest assassin in the DC universe before the Fifty Two. Uh, number one being who you you guessed it, Lady Shiva. Um, she definitely, definitely is a woman that you do not underestimate at all she's very very deadly and that makes her very very scary very uh, double threat and just some a woman you don't want to cross paths with or getting on her bad size her bad side at all uh, I have a lot of respect for Jade Shesh but uh, this is one woman I d don't want to be crossing paths with um, at all uh, her past is just gritty 
and her uh, her fighting style and that 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 guerrilla fighting that she knows and all those martial arts that she know that don't really exist no more or or not to is just over the top all right so we move on to her combating in this and while Jade may be the second best deadliest assassin we got the best spy in the Marvel Universe and probably the best shield agent in the Marvel Universe and I'm talking about Natasha Ronava aka Black Widow Black Widow boy you talk about going through a lot in her her childhood now granted guys her childhood has been her origin has been revived revised a lot of times and that's cool you know I, I don't mind what they do but they pretty much keep her what she truly is now she's not the first to hold that code name Black Widow but in my opinion she's the best uh, former KGB agent uh, turned you know shield agent a uh, longtime member of the Avengers she's a founding member of the short-lived team known as the champions uh, Natasha is just one hell of a one hell of a spy and a woman she's pretty much the equivalent to Nick Fury I mean Nick Nick Fury uh, uh, Steve Rogers she's like the Russian super soldier in a way um, Natasha has had relationships over the years with a lot of famous Marvel characters including Bucky Barnes uh, Hawkeye um, Daredevil but it seems that she truly loves Bucky Barnes the most uh, she's a still a current member of the Secret Avengers um, and Natasha is just one hell of a spy yeah you, you gotta put that in there yeah she's she's a pretty much a spy now like I said she has taken different versions of the super soldier serum that gives her physical abilities much like Captain America so she presses she possesses peak level physiology uh, from sh making her strong agile fast durable let pretty much like Steve Rogers uh, she her immune system is like really at the peak she is trained in various martial arts like I can't even name all of them because I know she's a lot of them. she's an excellent acrobat excellent uh, markswoman good espionage tactics and of course her weapon of choice is those uh, high-tech uh, uh, widow stingers that are like those uh, that you see that are around her 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 wrists uh, Natasha is just one hell of a hell of a spy so moving on in this fight assassin versus spy who wins I gave you everything I know about Jade Cheshire basically Cheshire basically I hope I'm saying her name right I hate pronouncing her name but I just call her by her real name Jade endowed in poisons everything about this woman has poisons on her um no no doubt about it um, every bit of her artificial nails, her darts, her her swords that she carries are dipped in poisons that she is keen in. And these guys, these women are pretty much, you know, meeting for the first time. No prep time. So they're going to go at it hardcore. Hard style, fisticuffs. Now, pretty much, I would say the poisons, if let's say Jade is able to scratch widow with the poison I say her immune system will be able to deal with that for for a bit but intense like intense cutting and you know scratches then we're dealing with you know but it's all about skill here baby skill that is gonna equal the winner as well as 
who's going to make the first mistake. And these women don't make mistakes too much. They really don't make mistakes. They are on the top of their games. Ah, man, I see it as a draw, people, for me. But I leave it up to you. Cheshire? 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 <laughs> or Black Widow, guys. Uh, yeah. And I hope you guys enjoyed this fight. I put this fight together. Um, I had a lot of fun, fun, a lot of fun putting together. I'm, I'm getting tank, tank, tongue tied in this fight. Uh, but you guys tell me what you think about this fight. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And yeah, man, it's been really fun doing this. Can you believe it? Thirty down, twenty-two more to go. And uh, I will see you next week with the next bracket, bracket four. And I hope you guys enjoy that bracket of fights. And for all you guys out there who, who are looking for your fights, look forward to seeing them because you, you might as well see them. I put at least everybody's fight in there who gave me fights for Section 10. Um... But other than that, this is Mom Vernon Kid saying peace, one love, stay tuned, keep it real, guys. You know the slogan, battle on.